It's Stephen Hauser here at Stages West, and today I'm with my good buddy Jay Earnhardt from Stetson Resist All Hats. Today we're going to be talking about a number of things, but the first one we're going to be talking about is how to get the proper fit in a cowboy hat. Jay, I get this same question lots of times. What does a size even mean? Well, I'll tell you what, it's a, I get the same question. I get phone calls from people that uh, one, they've never worn a hat before, uh, and that's typically where you run across that. Mm -hmm. So, let's just talk about some basics. Out of a box, a Stetson hat is more round oval. Mm -hmm. Resist all is more long oval. So, when you take that hat out of the box, if one person wears a long oval but needs the, the other version of it, there's subtle changes you can do with the steamer and everything else. But it goes back to the size, where do you start? Okay. So what's one thing that you do? Well, I always like to tell people that you gotta measure. So I've got a tailor's tape here. Now, not everybody has one of these, but if you have something as simple as a piece of string yeah, and a yardstick, to. you can do the exact yeah. same thing. So why, why don't you wrap this around my head and tell me what size I should be wearing? Uh, the easiest thing is, you're going to start right there in the corner. All right. And then bring this right around. You're asking for it. You're asking for it. You're right around up front. Now, Stephen, you are a 20. This measure is 22 and 7 eighths inches. So I wear a 22 and 7 eighths inch hat. So let me go find that size. Oh, you can't find that size. So how do I know what size that means? That's right. Well, I've memorized the sizes, but. Here's what you do. You've got a little conversion chart on the back of your ruler. And we go down here. Let's say 22. What did I say? 22 and a half? 22 and 7 eighths. 22 and 7 eighths. I'm sorry. So it looks like you're in the uh, 7 and a quarter range. Okay. All right. So well, that's a place to start. That's a great place to start. No, uh, let's go back to this. I made the comment. You might not know if you're a long oval or round oval, right? Who knows? Okay, so what are we going to do? Well, let's say that you like that Stetson hat. Mm -hmm. And out of the box, I'm going to get that seven and a quarter. But that Stetson hat out of the box is going to be rounder. And Stephen wears a long oval because I can tell by looking at the shape of his head. So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to try to talk you out of that Stetson hat. I'm going to take that seven and a quarter and I'm going to put that on. But what happens when you put it on, you're going to have a little space in between here. Make sense? Yeah, you yeah. Put it on, so it's going to be, you're going to have, you may have a little just place where you can just stick your fingers in here. I'm going to put that on the steamer, and what happens then, once I get that hat on, I'm just going to pull it. I'm going to physically pull it and make it more long over. So the size is the same. All we've done is just alter the shape of the hat, the roundness. For long, for oh, long so, so you can you can fix where my wife hit me with that skillet for not doing the laundry. I wasn't gonna say that, but yes, that's what oh, we Oh, fantastic! Okay. So, really, we can we can manipulate any shape. We just measure around, get the inches. Our chart tells us what those inches divided by pi are, and that's how you get the size number. It's, it's that simple. Easy. It's pretty easy. Well, goodness, who knew that it could be that easy? So, let's try it out.